What's up YouTube? It's your girl Jada Janae and I am back with another video. Today is Wig Install Wednesday and I am going to be showing y'all how I got this flawless install. Um, I'm going to start off with my cap, a new cap. And I've been liking this new method of applying caps with ghost lines. I find that this is way less harsh on your edges whereas using got to be glue spray it um over time it deteriorates at your edges basically um because you're spraying that and even though it's not directly on the hairline and you're not laying the wig directly on the hairline that got to be is basically molding your hair down into one spot until you take that wig back up whereas this is on your skin and not on your hair so yeah i find i like this better and i'm definitely gonna start doing this more but all you do is stretch the cap out till you see your hairline and you're gonna apply the glue of your choice lace glue of your choice um and bring the glue back just a tad and once it's dry you just cut it up and also it lasts longer so you won't have to keep doing it over and over again when i watched arrogant tay's video he said that he used la girl concealer um for his wig i usually say fine that's the exact shade of my skin tone and y'all i love this concealer even on my face and just skin it's a good concealer so i knew it was probably gonna do the thing for a wig so you just apply that to the back of your hand you're gonna mix it in with a brush and then as soon as that cap is dry you'll see it looks kind of see-through um that's when you apply your, apply your makeup and this is much more seamless and i feel like with using the glue it makes the wig more laid here i'm just flat on the hair y'all this hair was so soft and silky to the touch like oh my god i love this hair like it was so flowy and straight and some hair don't get really good straight but this hair got really really good straight and I have really good flat irons. I have Babyliss Pro, um, the Prima 3100 3, 3, or something like that. I don't know. But they're really good flat irons. They're going to get your hair bone straight. I would definitely say that that would be a good investment for anyone to buy good flat irons. Because, yeah. But I'm putting the makeup inside of the wig, the same makeup. And here I'm just showing y'all how I put do snap my wigs in the back. I tighten mine in the back. They actually have elastic bands in the back to tighten the wig if it's too big or um, if it's too small. You can kind of take them loose because they do come. So here I'm trying to wig on, trying to see like what's going on, what's what. And I already knew it. This was gonna be a bust down, and this was gonna be a slay, like period. <music> Okay, so now I'm going to begin cutting my cap and with this method, it's just so simple. You don't have to worry about it rising up like we got to be. Sometimes it don't dry all the way through. You're going to know that this is fully dry and I don't know. It's just like it's more seamless. Like it melts into your skin better than the got to be does. You don't have to worry about cutting all these small little pieces. And also, I want to show you what I do to the back. I tie the back of my cap. A lot of y'all ask and I just tuck it in. That's what I do yeah next you want to go in with your alcohol clean your hairline and get ready for the application process measuring the wig and getting ready to cut it so it can be glued down here i'm just trying to see like measuring up with my ears and my sideburns and stuff like that and so i'm just cutting off what needs to be cut because you always want to customize a wig to your own head um 
and yeah y'all see i had a good bit of lace well i want that not cover my eyes for one but yeah i did cut some lace on the sides and now i'm gonna go with my ghost bond xl and i'm just gonna glue that down y'all i think i did like two or three layers um smooth them out evenly let them dry mildly not completely dry but let them dry a good bit and then go on with your second layer your third layer and you'll be gucci you can go up to like five or six layers i think um but the more you apply the longer it'll last once that glue dries clear you can go ahead and place that wig into the glue press it down back comb do what you gotta do press your fingers in to make sure that it's gonna be melted um and then you're gonna go on with your elastic band and keep that on for like 15 to 20 minutes and you're due for a slay like you're definitely gonna have your hair melted Here, I'm trying to get the perfect part so y'all see me part of my hair in the middle part and I'm gonna go in and I use a permanent marker a mascara I just recently bought a root touch-up thing and so I've been using that too but I use anything black or the color of the hair that I'm wearing and I'll go in and perfect that part a little bit because I like my part to look perfect perfectly straight sometimes I get it sometimes I don't but yeah that's what y'all see me doing and yeah this really works i don't like the black spray look though per se because it looks too fake almost i don't like it um but i think this looks a little better and a little more natural you're going with the elastic band i know i said going with, with it earlier but now you're going to put it on and you're going to keep that on for 20 minutes 30 minutes max and yeah it's going to be melted for a fact So this hair was very straight, but I wanted to go for a very blunt look. And when I wear hair just straight out, I love for it to look blunt and healthy. I don't know why. That's just like that. I've been doing that for forever. I just think it looks 10 times better. Um, so I did go in and blunt cut this um, because I love a blunt cut. You know, you can't go wrong with a crispy blunt cut. So I'll go in, cut it, and then like basically flat iron it in the only time i don't cut it is if i know i'm gonna be wearing the hair curled or something like that i'll cut layers and i'll keep like the ends regular because it looks more better tapered but yeah this hair was it so healthy so beautiful so luscious bgm hair like they're impressing me seriously um but here i'm gonna take the elastic band off and then we're gonna cut the lace in a zigzag motion and then after that i'll get into the baby hairs
kind of part off however many baby hairs you want and then you're gonna go in with a straight razor and cut them and then you're gonna curl them and then you're gonna swoop them curling them helps you swoop them better which i like to do hey, i've been doing it before tay dropped the class i told y'all like you he been showing us the the tea like people just on to that but if you watch his live he been telling us to curl your edges like come on but yeah it definitely works um and it's something that i'm glad i picked up because my baby hair is like 10 times better now than they used to um but yeah it's just a trial and error thing you just keep going over it and making sure that it's to your liking and how you want to wear your baby hairs if you all are wondering i use got to be sprite and got to be gel in conjunction to get my baby hairs <laughs> is the finished product baby hairs are slayed i definitely love the look with like kind of they're not curtain but i think this looks really good i love my baby hairs to the side and like a middle part and then like a space y'all get what i'm saying but yeah this looks really good it came out really really pretty this hair is so full and so gorgeous and silky and i just loved it shop bgm hair if you haven't already all links will be in the description box below I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next freaking video.